Hi guys, welcome to another video by Optionables. My name is Saket and in this video, we'll be discussing more about option buying strategies. So the thing is, recently after the new SEBI margin rule, it has become harder for retailers with lesser capital to actually sell options and trade with selling strategies. So what we'll be doing in this video, we'll be demystifying option buying so we'll be discussing scenarios in which you have to actually buy options and we'll also discuss a lot of statistics regarding option buying. So we'll be discussing under what scenario buying out of money options or buying at the money or in the money is going to benefit you. And we are also going to see as an option buyer, how can you actually get the least theta decay? So because that is what is going to hurt most of the option buyer even though they are right with their view. So let's say you expect the market to go up and it actually goes up 100 points. But if you actually buy out of money options, you will still end up losing money. So we'll be discussing on how exactly you can have the least theta decay and what is the exact way to do that. So this entire thing will be covered in this video. And before moving on to this video, there are a couple of more things which I would like to tell. First thing is that we also have some free courses out there on our website. So do check out courses.optionables.in and you can avail these courses for free using the coupon code put out in the description below. So if you use that, you will be getting both the courses for free. And one more thing is we use a broker called as Fustalk and Fustalk is having an offer where there'll be absolutely free brokerage trading till 30th of September. That means any number of trades you do, you will not be charged any brokerage. So if you are interested, you can definitely check that out as well from the link in the description. So now we'll be quickly moving on to the video. And we have also come across an interesting statistics that 35% of the viewers of our video haven't actually subscribed to our channel. So if you are one of them, then please do hit the subscribe button as it will motivate us and also help us grow. And if you are liking the content on this channel, then please do share this with your friends and also don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you so much for joining guys and I'll be catching you in the next video. Hi guys, welcome to another video by Optionables. So in this video, we are going to discuss about option buying strategy. So before continuing this video, I would like to tell one more thing. Since this video is little big, around 30-35 minutes, you can also consider it playing at 1.25 or 1.5x at your convenience because the video will finish faster and you also get to cover entire video in a shorter span of time, right? So before we move on to the video, the most important thing is we have to understand what is the problem the option buyer is facing so that we can find a solution to the same. So the main problem is, let's say the market is trading at 17,300. Many people would have actually faced this. And I have a very bullish view on the market. So I expect the market to shoot up higher, but I don't know where it can go to 17,350, 400 or 500, right? So what I end up doing, let's say today is Friday morning and I have five more days to expiry, including today, right? I end up buying 17,500 call option trading at 50 rupees. So let's say on day one, the market doesn't move anywhere. So it ends at 17,300. So obviously there'll be some theta decay. So this option will end up becoming 45 rupees. Day two, it is really good. The market shoots up 100 points. It goes to 17,400 which is really amazing. And this option now becomes somewhere around 75, which is brilliant, right? So now you are thinking, let it move to 100. I will double my money. I have purchased this at 50. I'll make it go to 100 and I'll be out of my position. So day three, what happens is market actually ends up going to 17,450. And this option goes to 80 rupees and now you're really happy because the market is now shooting upwards it is coming very close to the price you want to sell it off at which is 100 rupees so this is tuesday right on wednesday what happens is market just falls 75 points 
so it just comes down to 17375 but for your surprise what you find is this option all the way from 80 drops to 30 rupees so this is where most of the people face the trouble because the market is definitely more than where they entered so they entered at 17300 now it has come to 17,375. It is 75 points more, but they have still lost 20 rupees. And let's say next day the market shoots up 100 points and it comes to 17,475. But unfortunately for the buyer, he ends up losing everything. So it becomes zero. So because this is expiry. So this is what most of the buyers face. So the thing is, the market has actually gone up like the way they wanted. So they were bullish on the market. The market actually shot up 175 points, but still they lost their entire capital put in the trade. So in this video, this is what we are going to try to solve. All this happened because there was effect of theta and an option seller would have made very nice money in spite of market moving in a complete opposite direction. He has actually made complete 50 rupees as his profit. So in this video, we will discuss how actually to avoid such things, how to trade in such a way that you experience very low theta decay and finally how you can actually make good profits even with 5-10 points move. So what option should you actually be targeting? So the entire thing will be covered in three aspects. So the first aspect will be when to trade. The second aspect will be capital management. And finally, the last aspect will be about what to trade. So we will be discussing all of these in this particular video. So without further ado, we'll be quickly starting off with the video. So before buying an option, you should know one thing that what is your chances of winning? So let's say I am an option seller. So we'll look at it from the seller's perspective. We know for the fact that around 67% of the times the market is going to stay range bound, right? So the thing is as an option seller, this is actually going to benefit him because 67% of the times the market doesn't move. It stays in a very small range, right? That means an option buyer only has a probability of around 33% chance of making money. So when he has only 33%, he can't enter every time. So he has to be right with choosing his trade. So he can't trade each and every day. And the best part is as an option buyer, you don't even have to trade each and every day. Here, the most important thing is choosing the right trade. So it is not about trading every day, but it is choosing your trade. Now we will be looking at one Excel sheet where I have collected data from the year 2000, which is almost 20 years. And we will see how the market has behaved over the years. So in this nifty chart, what we get to observe right over here is you can see the daily movement of nifty so this is minus 0 0.27 percent to 0.73 percent and so on right so what we observe right over here 2013 plus 1300 which almost adds up to 3350 plus days the market has just moved between plus or minus one percent so i'll just zoom this in so you will get a better picture so you can see that it has moved in the range of negative 0.27 to positive 0.73%, almost 3550 plus days. So the overall days we are considering right over here is 5184 days in that almost 3560 days or 550 days, the market has actually moved in the range of plus or minus 1%. So when I actually see the percentage right over here, so what we get to observe is almost 68% of times the market actually moves in a range bound state, which means as an option buyer, you don't have a lot of opportunity to trade. So you will have to pick your trades, right? So the question now is how exactly do I know when to trade? So the answer to that is again, pretty simple try to avoid the range bound days. For example, if you see from June till the end of July or beginning of August, the market has stayed absolutely 
range bound so in this case even if you actually try to trade options most of the cases you will find that you will end up losing money because these are the best times to do short straddle so when the market is trading in such a small range short straddle is going to give you a lot of money right before making your buy decision what you have to do is you will have to have a proper setup so you can use any technical setup based on a price action based on indicator use any setup that's absolutely fine but all you have to make sure is that market is not consolidating rather market is trending so i won't be touching more upon the technical indicators or what setup to use because it depends on person to person some people like one type of indicator some people only like price action so we will not talk much about that rather we will try to focus on what option should you choose because that is the most important thing and that we'll be discussing right now so we'll come to this particular point and let's assume that i expect the market to be bullish right so nifty is currently trading at uh, 17285 so i will just write that down so i expect the market to be bullish that is what my analysis is telling so here i have various options what i can purchase one i can buy out of money option something like 17700 call option next i have one more option where i can buy at the money option something like 17300 call option next i can buy in the money option so this is otm atm and next i can buy itm option something like 16800 ce so this is in the money option so in this video we are going to examine what is the advantage of each option and what exactly you should do right so before we jump into this there is one very important part which i should cover before we actually start deep diving into options and how actually each one works so the important thing what we should know as an option buyer is how much capital to allocate for each trade so let's say you are starting with a capital of 2 lakh rupees so what we would recommend is that you should have enough capital to at least enter for 10 to 15 trades in option buying so what does that mean that means in a trade you are not risking more than 15000 to 20000 per trade so no matter what happens don't risk more than 15000 to 20000 per trade this should be your maximum risk because you should have a chance to trade at least for 10 to 15 times even if you go wrong so first time you go wrong you lose 20k no problem second time you again take a trade go wrong no problem third time you take a trade go wrong no problem so this way you should have enough capital to at least take 10 to 15 trades so that means if we have a capital of around 2 lakh we will be only risking around 15 to 20000 per trade so once that is clear as to why exactly you should be risking only 7 to 10% of the capital each trade the reason is because the probability of winning is low but when you win you can win big that's why capital management becomes very important in option buying So right over here you can see that I have opened the option chain from Sensible. So last time we saw three options which we decided to do more research upon that is 16800, 17300 as well as 17700. So what I'll be doing now is I'll just note down the premium. So this is available at 500, so this is available at 97 and this is available at 9 rupees so 16800 available at 495 17300 available at 95 and 17700 available at 10 rupees so now given a chance what would most option buyers do so most likely they will end up buying this option or this option So what is the mindset so the thing is i will buy this at 10 so if this goes to 100 i will be making 10 times return so i will buy this at 95 if it goes to 200 i'll be making double my money but they want say i will buy this at 495 
if it goes to 595 i'll be making 20% of my money so no one is even going to consider this as an option buyer everybody wants either this or more quantity of this or small quantity of this because they think that going from 10 to 20 is easy they also think that going from 95 to 180 is easy but going from 500 to maybe 600 or 700 is not a great deal so it's just around 20% what is there in that so this is the idea with what people usually buy options not everybody but most of them buy with the same mindset some people will also have different strategies put in place for which they will actually end up buying this option right so the thing here is now as an option seller so you might have already seen me do lot of option selling right so what do i prefer do i prefer selling this at 495 do i prefer selling this at 95 or do i prefer selling this at 10 rupees so what do i actually prefer so always look from the perspective of the seller so as a seller i am okay with selling this at 95 i can do short straddle so i am okay with selling this as a seller i am more than happy to sell this option because i'm sure that the chances of nifty going all the way up till 17700 before next week is very low but as an option seller i wouldn't dare to sell this because the chances of me going wrong by selling this option is huge so for that reason i won't take this bet at all because the chances of me going wrong is very high so as an option buyer what you are exactly doing is you are buying the option with the seller is happy to sell so i would love to sell this particular option and you are exactly buying that option making me even more happier so i am also happy to sell this particular option if you go and buy the same option then it will make me even more happy so the thing is you see as a seller what makes him uncomfortable or unhappy that is selling in the money call option or in the money put option so because the chances what this gives for seller to go wrong is very little so that's the reason most of the sellers are not comfortable selling in the money call or put options so now what we will do is we will examine each of this in depth so now we will assume that in this trade we are putting 25000 rupees with this particular thing i can only buy one lot so i can't buy much only one lot because 500 into 50 is 25000 rupees with this particular thing i can buy five lots 250 quantity because this is trading at 100 rupees but with this particular thing i can buy 50 lots so the question here is if we look at it in terms of quantity i have only 50 quantity here i have 250 quantity and here i have 2500 quantity right so most of the people want to buy this because 2500 quantity even 2 rupees it goes up i am going to get somewhere around 5000 rupees but for this actually nifty should go up 100 points for me to get 500 rupees and that is really hard but the question is the reality is something totally different so most important thing is stop focusing on the returns so always start focusing on the risk we have opened sensible here and i will end up adding all three options one is buy of 16800 buy of 17300 as well as buy of 17700 so now we will examine one by one so here we decided we'll be buying five lots of this and we'll be buying 50 lots of this because we want to risk around 25000 in each of the trade right so we will start with 16800 first so the thing is you can see as soon as i put 16800 my max risk is 25000 because i have purchased for 25000 but what you have to look at is probability so with this i have almost 50% chance of making money whereas if i actually go to this the probability drops around 35% so this is what we discussed that option seller usually has a probability of around 65 to 67% right and you can see my max risk is still the same but if i come to this my probability of making profit 
drops to just around 8% and my max risk still remains the same. So one thing what you are observing right here is that even though you are going out of money, the chances of making profit is decreasing every time. So one in the money is giving you 50% chance of making profit. Whereas if you are going out of money, your probability is dropping to as low as 8%. So before we do further analysis, we will consider one more situation. So currently market is trading at 17,280. And what I told you was I am bullish on market. So that is all the information you have. So from 17,280, where will Nifty go? I don't know. So will it go to 17,300? I don't know. So will it go to 17,350? What about 17,400? Similarly, the chances are it can go to 17,500, then also 17,700. Right. So there are various possibilities where Nifty might actually end up going after I buy the option. But I don't know where is the target because Nifty, it's an all time high for Nifty. It can go anywhere. Right. So here we will consider each of the cases for Nifty and each of the options and we will see what exactly happens. Right. So now we will also consider what if we go wrong? Nifty falls to 17,200. We will consider one more situation, 16,600. So we will be looking for each of these and try to understand what happens with each of the option. So I will project the target to be 17,300. That means just 10 points from here. And let's say market ends there at expiry. I am still making a profit of 750 rupees by buying in the money option. So now I will just change this to at the money option. So what you see is even though it is ending at 17,300, you're losing your full 25,000 or whatever you have put in. And I don't even have to tell about 17,700 option. So again, you're losing your entire capital. So what you are seeing here is even a small 5 point, 10 point move with deep in the money option will be giving you profit. So that is not the same case with at the money or out of money option. So now we'll consider one more situation that is 350. So what you see is that this particular thing will end up giving you 3000 rupees profit at 350. So this particular option will be giving you 10,000 rupees loss again at 350, even though the market has actually moved around 60, 70 points in your favor, you're still having a loss. Whereas this particular option will be giving you an overall loss of 22,000 again, in spite of market moving where you want it. So now we'll consider 400, 500 as well as 700. So let's say market moves to 400. So in this case, deep in the money option is giving you 5,000 rupees profit. What about at the money option? At the money option is just giving you 1,700 rupees profit. So you can see what is changing here, right? So even though the market has moved 130 points in your favor, only deep in the money option has given you five times more profit than at the money option. So what will happen with out of money options? Again, as usual, you will lose your entire capital. So now two more scenarios on the upside. We will go to 17,500. So 17,500, you will be getting 10,000 rupees profit by buying deep in the money option one lot. Here, you will be getting 26,000 profit. What you're seeing here is if the market is actually moving 200 points over your purchase price, only then this particular at the money option is being better than in the money option. But what about risk? We will come to that later on, right? Only if it is moving 200 points more than when you purchase, you're actually making a profit twice as much as deep in the money option. So again, out of money option still going to give you a loss of 22,000 in spite of market moving somewhere around 200 points over your purchase price, right? So next we'll move on to the last scenario that is 17,700. Uh, 17, 
So this option is giving you a profit of 20,000. So this option will obviously give you more profit, 70,000, almost three times more now. Whereas this option again is giving you still a loss in spite of market moving somewhere close to 400 points above your purchase price. You were bullish, you were right with your view, but still you lost all your money. That is because you purchased the wrong option. So always remember when you're bullish, I don't know how much it will go. It can go 10 points, 20 points or 50 points. But even if it goes 10 points, I want to make money out of the 10 points. That means you have to buy deep in the money options. So now there's a valid question. You might ask, Saket, I found at the money more attractive because I understand there is some amount of risk, but the reward is huge. It is giving me three times more reward than deep in the money option if I am right. But what about risk? So that is what we are going to discuss right now. So we will buy this option, right? So we don't even have to uh, discuss about these two because wherever I go down, so even if I go down to 17,200, I'm losing full capital. So we won't be discussing this scenario, right? But what happens to this particular thing? Let's say we go down almost to 17,200. So in the other two cases, you have lost your entire capital of 25,000 rupees. Whereas what has happened in this case, you have just lost around 5,000 rupees, which is almost one fifth of what you would have otherwise lost. So even though market moving 100 points against you, you have just lost 5,000 rupees, which is one fifth of the capital you have put in, right? What if market moves completely against you and it falls 200 points? So it comes all the way to 17,100. Even in spite of this, you're just losing 9,000 rupees. So I hope you're understanding what exactly is happening. Even if it is going just around 10, 15 points, you're getting somewhere around 700, 800 rupees. Whereas even though it is coming down almost by 200 points, which is completely against your view, you have just lost 10,000 rupees. Otherwise you would have lost your entire capital of 23,000 what you would have put in. Now let's say it comes down even bad. It falls all the way to 16,900. Even in this case, you have lost much lesser than what you would have lost with the other two options. Even at this particular level where Nifty is down almost 400 points and your view has gone terribly wrong. So this is the most important thing while buying options. And this is the same reason why option sellers do not touch deep in the money option. Even if the market moves around five points or 10 points against them, they're going to lose money. So forget about buying huge quantities and making small sums. Focus on risk management. So if your view is completely wrong, you're still not losing your entire capital. And if your view is right, sometimes a small move of 50 points, 100 points has turned out to be much better than buying at the money option and better than buying deep out of money options. So the next question is the last aspect which we'll be covering in this video. What actually makes deep in the money option so much more better than at the money option or out of money option. So in option chain, what you see is a column called Delta. So what does Delta tell? Delta is telling you, so for one point move in Nifty, right? How much will the option move, right? So the thing is, if Nifty moves one point, let's say from 17,300, eight, it becomes 17,319, right? So then this particular option, 16,800 will move up 0.93 rupees. So this option will move up 0.92. So similarly, this option will move up 0.5 rupees. And this option will only move somewhere around 0 0.08 rupees. So this is what actually makes the difference. So even though the market is moving in my direction. So there is obviously Delta getting added up to out of money option also. But along with this Delta, there is also effect of Theta, which is kicking in. So you can see the effect of Theta on this option as well as this option is the same. 
so that means the time value is affecting or theta decay is affecting both of these options similarly with respect to theta so effect of theta is same you can uh, see the measured level of theta also it is the same for both deep in the money option and deep out of money option but where is the difference coming the difference is coming because here even though it has the same effect of theta right it is only gaining 0 0.08 rupees whereas this is gaining 0 0.93 rupees so we will try to understand that in a much better way right so currently nifty is trading at 17285 and 16,800 call option is trading at 495. So what does this mean? It has an intrinsic value of 485 rupees and time value of 10 rupees. So what about 17,700 call option? So this is trading at 10 rupees. It has an intrinsic value of 0 and time value of 10. So what you're effectively seeing is that both of them come with the same time value, a different intrinsic value. So what does this mean? The effect of theta is going to be the same on both of these options because the time value is the same. So for example, tomorrow this might lose three points of its time value and this might lose three points of its time value. So technically end of the day, the time value for both will be seven as well as seven, right? So the theta decay for both of these options is nothing but the same. But where is the difference? So now let's try to see that, right? So the delta for one is around 0.92, whereas delta for 17,700 is 0 0.08. So this is 16,800. So let's see what exactly happens. So let's keep the theta to be a constant three rupees, 17,285, right? So let's say this goes to 17,295. So what will actually happen is this particular option right over here will gain 9.2 rupees with respect to delta because it has a delta of 0.92 and a 10 point move means it will gain 9.2 rupees whereas how much will this option gain this option will only gain 0.8 rupees so this is trading at 495 and this is trading at 10 rupees so what will happen to the premium so this will be 500 and 4.2 whereas this will be 10.8 now comes the effect of theta so minus 3 minus 3 so this will be 7.8 whereas this will be 501.4 so what you effectively see is that even if there is a 10 point move in the money option has actually gained whereas out of money option has actually lost its value from 10 rupees it has become 7 rupees whereas from 495 this has become 595 i hope this example has given you clarity on why buying deep in the money option is better than buying deep out of money option because even small 5 point or 10 point move will be helping you make profit. So when you have a view in mind and even if you get it partially right, so let's say you are bullish on the market, market just moves up 10 points or 15 points, you will still end up making money. And if you are wrong, when you are wrong, you actually don't end up losing all of your money. So you will only lose small amount of money, maybe around 10% of the capital deployed or 20% of the capital deployed. So not 100% till you go terribly wrong. Till you actually go wrong by 400 or 500 points, you will not be losing all of your capital. And I also hope that clears as to which option should you exactly be trading with. And with that, we also come to the end of this video. The summary of this video is choose your trades. Second one, manage your capital properly. And third one is use deep ITM instead of OTM.
so one is that we discussed that option buyers have only 33 to 35 percent chance of making money so that's the reason they have to be really careful with the traits they choose second we also discussed that at least you must have enough capital to repeat the trade at least for 10 to 15 times minimum and finally we saw why using deep in the money option is much better than using deep out of money option because it will completely nullify the effect of theta so that is the summary of this entire video so in case if you found this video useful then please do hit the like button share this with your friend and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you so much for joining guys and i'll be catching you soon in the next video thank you